do is to add the loads together that is to do the load combination to do that you'll be under uh, load and definition now you click on this load case detail let me click on the positive so that you see the loads that we've added we've been able to add uh, load one to seven you can go through it yourself now i'm going to add click on add now we're working on we've been working on primary now if i move this forward you see it's telling us that the number of load that we're going to be adding now this is going to be the seventh load now the title it has automatically given it a name for us as load case seven okay which is going to be here now i'm not working on primary i'm going to be working on define combinations as against auto load combination now as I, the auto load combination is going to do it for you the way it understands now uh, computer is garbage in garbage out it is whatever you give to it that it's going to give you back as a result so it all depends on how you're able to analyze what you want now what i need is defined combinations now it takes me to this side and look at it the load uh, number is seven as you can see the load uh so the combination load case seven now these are the available load cases okay now such as i have uh, just like the way we have them here we have self weights i'm going to be combining it here i can select everything here okay now by the time i select everything yeah i have to start typing the factors but i'll be having issues because load case one perhaps it is a self weight i don't want to make any mistake so i'll take it back because the name the names i have on this right hand side is not what i have here so i'm going to take them back with this double arrow so i'll be taking them one after the other i know that self weight is dead load so i'll take it with this single arrow now i'll give it a factor of uh, 1.4 because it's dead load now the next one is the slab dead load which is also uh, going to be carrying a factor of 1.4 so i'll take it i'll click on this is it goes uh, sorry i'll select it and i click it goes inside so i'll say 1.4 also okay then this is slab live load now the live load is going to be the live load is going to be uh carrying a, a factor of 1.6 as we know the formula of uh design load to be to be now uh, we know that that of uh, live load is carrying 1.6 as a factor why uh, dead load is carrying 1.4 as a factor to be considered you know factor of safety now i'm going to be using 1.6 uh select a uh, partition wall load okay this one also this is a dead load okay i'm going to take it in and give it a factor of um, 1.6 okay roof uh dead load is also a dead load with the name so i'll give it a factor of 1.4 or uh, roof live load i'll give it a factor of 1.6 1.6 so let me now look at let me, let me compare them here to see if i'm correct self weight 1.4 slab dead load 1.4 slab live load 1.6 a partition wall 1.6 here then roof a roof uh, dead load that's number five 1.4 then so i'm correct after that well so long as i've been able to confirm that i'm going to add now so it's going to be here so by the time i'm done i'll close i'll cancel this so folks all the load cases have been attached now with their various um with a various factor of uh, safety now the uh, start is going to be doing the load combination and doing the multiplication for us so in the next class uh, we're going to be talking about the result analysis